Um, it's interesting. It's interesting because if you look at it, every year, Ferrari looks really strong in testing. And every year, I think they're better than they were last year. Um, so I think it'd be interesting. Red Bull looks really strong, really, really strong. And, you know, in the last test, they kept added putting new updates in the car and they kept getting quicker. So I think it looks at the moment that that's kind of the car to beat. The question with Mercedes, are they really sandbagging or are they really struggling? I think they might be struggling. They're not as slow as they show they are, but they're probably not as happy as they thought they were going to be. The car looks amazing with the little side boots or no side boots or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> uh, I do think they're going to be surprised. I think there's going to be a lot of, a bit of a, a shuffle in the midfield. I think the midfield is going to be a lot closer than we've seen in the last few years. Um, because I think a lot of like the Williamses and, and, and you know, the Haas, they're going to be a lot stronger than they were. Uh, I think there's probably one or two teams like the Red Bull that are going to be, that's always, you know, the Red Bull, Mercedes, or Ferrari, one of those, or even the McLaren. I think the McLaren looks really strong. The McLaren looked really strong in, in Barcelona. It didn't look as good in, in Bahrain, not sure why. But I think they're going to... Bahrain is a, is a difficult track. It doesn't suit the, all the cars. So have to wait and see. You can't go to Bahrain and say, oh, that's sad. You know what I mean? I think we'll need a couple, like going to a more normal track, you know, not a track in the desert with the sun hitting it, you know, a million degrees. Because, <laughs> you know, Bahrain, the decoration is really high. So a car that looks after the tires will look really, really strong there. And it might not look great everywhere else. So we have to wait and see how that, how that plays. But everybody's, you know, I think the cars look really amazing. I think they look really cool. They look a lot more racy than they did in the last few years. I think the bigger wheels are look really cool. I think the, you know, like, like the manly rear wing looks really cool. It's, I, I think it's awesome. I think it's, it's, it's a really good change to F1. Uh, the big question is whether probably everybody has in their mind is racing going to be that much better and it looks it's going to be I think it's going to be better everybody talks about that it can follow closely you're still going to have the same effect but if you if it's reduced by half then the racing is going to be a lot better because you know when they get to DRS it's going to be a lot closer. Um, I think a lot of the, the handling issues come from having such a different mentality or philosophy of car from that we're used to. Um, I think the purposing, it's funny because in, in the prototypes we see that a lot. It happens a lot. So it wasn't surprising. It's annoying as hell. Uh, but it's, once they figure it out, it'll be fine. You know what I mean? It's, and the, whoever can manage it better and understand it better and, and keep it. Because purposing basically happens because the rear of the car stalls. And then it races and it picks up all the downforce and it shuts back down and it stalls again and it starts that, you know, heaving thing. But they do, they look like they have a ton of grip, but they look to be a handful at the same time. When, like they go from like a really fast corner where like, ah, I can hold it wide open everywhere to a slow corner to like, oh my God, it's going to kill me. And I think that's good. It's good because the mistakes are going to be higher and it's just gonna, when you're under pressure, it's gonna be much easier to get it wrong. And as a show, it's gonna be amazing. I don't know. I, the, the biggest question is, is it gonna be, let's say Max versus Lewis again, but the other way around where, where now this year, Max has a, a even more superior car? And, and Lewis ends up winning a couple of races only a year because he could beat Max? Or is it, you know what I mean? The other thing people need to remember is with the development of these cars, at the moment it's going to be so big, especially early in the season, that being bad at the beginning of the year, it doesn't mean you're going to have a bad year. It means if you, fi if you have like a huge purposing problem and you need to run the car higher and you're giving up a lot of performance, if you figure out a way or you come up with new parts where you can run the car lower and, and better, the performance of your car as a team is going to increase exponentially. So it's, it's going to be cool. I think it's going to be, it's going to be a, a really cool season to watch. It's going to be intriguing. I think if, if I was a betting person, I would put my money on Max at the moment, the way the testing looked and how strong the car looked. Um, 
because normally Mercedes doesn't say much, but it's like Lewis is really going, ah, don't expect too much. And that was kind of surprising. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I think George has done enough years now in F1 and he's been, uh, you know, quietly doing a really good job. Uh, when the Williams, he was doing an amazing job making, you know, Q2. I think a couple of times he made Q3 and everything. It's, I'm a big fan of him. I, I really like him. Um, and I think the, the timing is really good because it's a different, different platform than Lewis has been used to. So they're both learning a new car. Yes, you, Lewis knows the team and everything, and everybody understands Lewis in the team. But I think George's got a lot of natural speed, and and I think being younger, it's he will adapt easier to a different car and different issues. I think I think yes, I do. I do think Checo. Chekos did a really good job. I thought he was the perfect teammate to win the championship. He really, you know, got in the way he needs to to get in the way. Everything. He was a great number two. If 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 he wants to stay a number two, he, as a number two, he did a perfect job. But uh, you know, if you're a race car driver, you want to win races, and you want to, you know, you know, Max is very good, but you still want to beat him. I mean, if you don't want to beat him, then you shouldn't be there, in my opinion. Uh, so I would assume he does want to beat him. Uh, and I think it's going to be interesting. I think he, again, you know what I mean? Checo is a guy that manages tires really well. Is He runs, re races really smart. And I think if he gets com comfortable enough in the car, it would be good for him to, to win a couple of races. Um, I think the dirty thing, it's, it's cool to see you. I mean, he, uh, you gotta be so impressed w with Michael. He's built an empire. He really has built an empire from being a race car driver to being part of, uh, you know, green and then buying out green and then Formula E and this and that. And it just keeps growing and growing and growing and, and, and have, yeah, I mean, he's got great partners and people that really believe in him because to, to, to have, come with ambition to F1, knowing what it takes and everything, and have the backing of the people are ready to believe in him, I think it's hats off to him. And I think it would be amazing, you know, to see a, a, a new team in Formula One. I, I don't think it'd be good to see five new teams like they did before, all the small teams and everything when, when the opening came before. But I think he, he's got what it takes. Um, I would think it would have to be a, a European operation. I don't think you can do this as an American operation and succeed in F1, personally. You need to be where you need to be, you know what I mean? Uh, but I do believe it would be great to see. And from the Pato and, and, and Colton, I think they're both young. They have a lot of talent. Um, they have a lot of speed. It'll be interesting to see, you know what I mean? They, like Pato is really quick and he can drive really uncomfortable cars. Uh, and Colton's got, you know, really, really impressive high speed. You know what I mean? From what you see from the outside, you know, I know him a little bit. I don't know him that well, but he gets the job done. Uh, and for sure, you know what I mean? They got enough speed to drive F1. And I tell this to my son a lot. It's like when you go to the next level, you look at those guys and you go, oh, my God. And then you drive and you're as good or better than them. And you go, what happened? You know what I mean? Where did the magic go? And uh, you just gotta, yeah, I mean, I think they got enough speed to get it done. And it's a matter of opportunity, you know what I mean? If the opportunity arises, what do they do with it?